Hi everyone, this is Darren. I just want to show you a quick look at the My UI Realm running on the Desire HD. Um, as you can see, the lock screen here is slightly different to what we're used to. A nice little uh, animation going up there. Um, you've got three functions. You've got um, the clock, phone and message. If you pull down on one of those, it takes you to the application. So as you can see, swiping down on the application, on the messaging application takes you straight to it, which is a nice little shortcut. If you're not used to the My UI ROM before, this is uh, something that's going to take you by surprise. There is no application drawer as such on this, so there is nowhere where you swipe to access your applications. Instead, all the applications are installed on your desktop. As you can see, it's very iPhone-like, um, which is, uh, again, something that takes a bit of getting used to. Basically, you install an application, and it installs the icon onto your desktop. All the problem with that is, if you want to get rid of one, um, in the way you would normally get rid of an icon, Oops, sorry about that. Just it up. Um, you have the problem in that what happens is you long press and drag to the bin and it actually wants to uninstall the application rather than get rid of the uh, icon, which is could be a problem if you've got a lot of applications. You can rectify this by putting them into folders, such as this here, a nice little looking folder, which is a good way of doing it. Again, obviously, this is very iPhone-like and some people um, are obviously going to kind of look at that and dismiss it offhand but I wouldn't do that at all it's a really good ROM list very fast um, different as well it kind of gives you um, a bit of that excitement back about your phone um, if you've been using um, the same thing for a long time um, the notification um, drop down is very nice basically you've got your notifications there but you've also got these really good toggles um, switch here which allows you to go through all these different toggles directly from your notification bar which is a really good feature. The music app is a very good music app um, in the sense that it allows you to download lyrics for um, songs um, there's no examples on this because I think these are songs that there are no lyrics available for. Um, oh my god that's really embarrassing isn't it? I don't even know what that is. Anyway, um, you have to excuse me because these are all just um, songs that are on the SD card. Uh, yeah, honest, he says. Um, but yeah, so that's a really good. Um, oh, gotta get that off my thing there. Really gotta get it off. I'm not having that on my phone at all. Um, so it's a uh, like I said, lyrics would scroll up here, and uh, they work really well actually. Oh, God my finger there as well. Um, they work really well because when you've got a song um, they scroll up in time with the music so it's a nice little feature, a nice little function and as you can see the actual widgets, music widgets is quite nice as well. So the music app is a really good feature of this um, ROM. Um, you've also got the ability to theme your ROM um, This I'm having a problem with this one at the moment and the theme manager is not working um, but as you can see you've got all these different things you can customise um, and download um, ones already so that's a really good um, feature um, you've got to t understand as well that this is a, 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 um, a Chinese originated ROM so there's um, a lot of things in Chinese so there's a lot of English um, versions and stuff but when you get to stuff like the theme manager um, if I go to the online themes at the top here as you can see you know there are quite a few um, Japanese ones so what you've got to do is kind of jump in really and hope that um, they work so let's have a try at this one now. So as you can see, it gives you um, like a preview of um, the actual RAM. So if I was to download this now, as you can see, I'm having a problem with the theme manager. So I can't do this at the moment. But basically, you can download them and it'll edit all those different um, components of your UI. You've also got File Explorer here, which allows you to go through your SD card um, and to edit your files so you want to get rid of them. FTP service there which is a nice little function allows you to do it um, through FTP. And the gallery um, again it's an, a nice looking gallery it allows you to do little features such as edit the colors and share and you know the usual kind of things. Cameras uh, works fine again um, basically You've got a few added features such as adding colours um, already on the anti shake, screen shutter. Um, you know, so you've got quite different 
functions here, picture size, so that 8 megapixel there. Um, but so yeah, so again you've got quite a lot of nice little um, features on um, the form to be able to um, play around with. There we go, so that's the camera. Your settings, obviously you've got quite various settings and at the top you've got your little menu bar you follow. Um, so you've got your usual settings, call settings, menu settings. Um, you've also got security settings, um, do not disturb, location, a nice little backup data um, function. You've also got your system settings there and your programs there so you can manage um, the applications you've got installed. So there's quite a lot of um, tinkering you can do on this um, ROM quite a lot of different things you can play around with and set it up really to be very um, kind of personal to you um, get it so that it's like something you would enjoy so as you can see you can edit the transitions and things like that so it's a nice little um, feature there so like I said it's a really good ROM this and you know I would definitely recommend that you check it out especially if it's you bit bored with the usual ROM and something a bit different, it kind of appeals to you. I would definitely suggest that you check it out and um, give it a go because it's definitely worthwhile. Um, if there's anything you'd like to ask, feel free, leave a comment. Any particular ROMs you'd like me to have a look at as well, just give us a shout and I'll see if I can um, install it onto my Desire HD and give it a whirl and do a video review for you. Um, any, any suggestions as well for features to look at just gives a shout but in the meantime just listening guys and I'll catch you later